Uh, my name is James Crawford. I'm the head of submissions at the Lagan Construction Group. We're a civil engineering company uh, based in Belfast but with offices all over the world. Our turnover this year is about £320 million and the sectors that we operate are everything from airports, marine, uh, highways, infrastructure and power stations elsewhere. Uh, currently we're on the ground in Cyprus, Florida, North Dakota and all across the UK and Ireland. In terms of our current use of cloud computing, uh, we've rolled it out across our entire company. There are two main areas, our document management and retrieval system and our financial system as well. Uh, we brought cloud computing across the business about 24 months ago and a lot of that was due to um, bad experiences that we had with having our own servers in-house and those prompted us to expedite the process to move everything to a cloud based system. The head of IT was appointed around about the same time and he was very much the driver in our business in bringing this in. He had been in another industry where they'd used cloud computing and he'd seen the benefits of it. Uh, for us, the main advantages are that our laptops and our iPads and all of our devices, we can log in from anywhere and use our documents. So if a laptop happens to be stolen, we can change a password and it's rendered useless. None of our mission critical information is stored on any machine. It's all stored on the cloud. The rationale for moving to the cloud-based system was basically down to a disaster scenario that we en we ha encountered within our organisation. Everyone had documents stored on their desktop, on their own files, in their laptops, and on our server that was stored at our head office in Belfast. Our backup server was in Lisbon, and there was a, a significant storm and electrical outage which took out our main server and subsequently took out our backup server which both happened to be in the geographically same place. So we lost a lot of mission critical data. As well as that, we had a scenario where people had stored information on their laptops and those laptops would become corrupt. So we lost bid documents, we lost submissions, we lost a lot of critical information. That then prompted a review of all our IT systems. And with the appoint new appointment of our head of IT, it was then decided that we were gonna to move to the cloud. Not as straightforward as what we thought, because the resistance that we faced with some people was that the trust aspect of it. Um, if my document is not on my laptop, how do I know where it is? Um, a lot of people stored files on their desktops, you open their machines, and there were 20, 30 files on their desktop. Using the example of what the pain they went through to retrieve documents that were lost, quickly won over the naysayers of this whole process. Now what we can do from our phones, from any device that we have, we log into. We use Office 365 from Microsoft uh, as our cloud-based um, provider. All of our documents are stored in the cloud. If, if a server goes down in Microsoft, that's Microsoft's problem. They have redundancies, they have backups, our information is fully accessible. And we have that safe knowledge that our documents and all of our mission-critical information is secure with Microsoft. In, in allaying the fears of the concerns that people have with the internet, is it always available? I can't log in. What if I don't have an internet connection? For example, I can't work. And that is a real example that still exists within our organization. However, we've noticed 99% plus of uptime with our internet service providers. And that if something does happen on our internet connection, we have a secondary connection that we can roll over to as well. That against losing the information. And we had to balance that risk as to which one would take more precedence. If we cannot log on to the internet, we have another provider that can provide that. If we lose a document, or we lose a tender submission, or we lose financial information, the risk of that to the business far outweighs that of not being able to get online and doing that. So the, all of those factors were brought into play when we considered moving everything towards the cloud. Now that we've moved towards the cloud, it's one of those scenarios where, why didn't we do this years ago? We have came to this realization, our organization is over a thousand staff, as I said, spread all across the world. Everyone uses Office 365 computing. Would we ever look back? I don't even think so. In terms of our, our voice over IP system, again, which is internet based, um, the cost that we were paying to have hard lines into our building um, and obviously then to have uh, connections to our satellite offices around the world, we would have been paying anywhere between sixty to seventy thousand pounds a year just for our phone lines. Then we had our calls on top of that. Bringing in this solution, we've probably saved ourselves between fifteen to twenty thousand pounds a year over the term that we use with all our solutions. 
The benefit of doing it are twofold. First of all, if we want to add extensions, we just add a new number to our system. That There's an infinite amount of internal extensions we can have. If I want to ring our office in Cyprus, I dial an internal code and the phone rings in Cyprus. Uh, similarly with our operations um, in the Middle East and in the USA as well. To go through, previously we had to go through by extra extensions and we have links across um, from some of the, prov the phone providers that we used and it's far easier you know, do, you know, doing um, voice over IP. In terms of where we are in our development of cloud-based, all of our document storage system is on Office 365 based, so everything moves to the cloud. We're in the process of moving um, our internal systems and procedures and our internal customer relationship management, or our CRM system. We're just about 50% of the way through that process. What that allows us to do is link our supply chain and all of our suppliers through to our organization. So immediately we can see, again, it's a cloud-based system. Everyone who's working for our organization on any of our projects, we can link that relationally through to who within the organization they spoke to, the emails that were sent, all the correspondence, we can have that then a single click on an online based system. So and that's the most advanced stage of where we're moving to. And as I said, we're about 50% of the way through that process. The advice that I would provide to, to SMEs or to any other organization considering it, I'd ask them to do two things. Take the plug out of your server, as our head of IT did with our chief executive standing in our server room. And what our chief executive was asked was, how nervous do you feel right now? Take the plug, just take it out of the wall. Don't shut down, don't do anything. And ask yourself how critical, if that switch does not go back on, how critical is that information? That prompted a tidal change in attitudes in our organization because if you have backup disks, that's fine. And you back up and you store them in sequence and you can go back to your documents and you feel very secure. We put a backup tip in one time and it was blank. We didn't record anything. Test your systems and test your contingencies. It's always the case of, sure, it'll never happen to us. It happened to us, and we're a 300 million pound business. Test it out. The second thing I would advise people to do is, go to Office 365. It's free as a home user. Try it. You'll be giving the Office 365 cloud link on your laptop, on your desktop computers. It will replicate your documents to a cloud. Log in, download the app onto your phone, and log in. Your documents are there. Test it out. It doesn't cost anything to do it, and you'll start to see the benefits of cloud computing. Another example um, on our use of cloud computing was we moved our entire uh, finance system and our payroll system to cloud-based. Uh, we use um, a software program called Coins, which is written for the construction industry. And what we had in Coins was a process that had to go through when it was all held in-house, and this crashed. So on our server that we had in-house, it crashed. That meant over 1,000 staff were unable to be paid. You can then see the stress that that caused as an organization and the hassle it caused to our staff. It was fixed very, very quickly, but the knock-on effect of that, the amount of time that it took to get the data back on again, to make sure everyone was paid immediately, to check all those things was a horror story that we had. The decision then to move to cloud, the same as the server. If this had happened, what are the implications of it? The risk to our business was unprecedented in that we wouldn't be able to pay our staff, our suppliers, we couldn't function as a business. With moving to the cloud, all of our information is stored on servers that are very, very secure. They have redundancy backups, they have all that, but we transferred that risk to our providers rather than carry that ourselves.